Oh, my friend Morgan Masson called me up and said like he was going down to Mexico with Dylan and Sterling Spencer, Dylan Perillo, and I was like, sweet, I like those guys, so pretty psyched on the trip. But then I was thinking like, shit, Mexico is pretty far away and pretty expensive. Like, I wonder if this is gonna be worth it. And I checked out the swell and stuff, which I really have no freaking idea about, but I trusted him. And I guess it paid off because I went down and it was like firing and we surfed for like a week straight and then when we come back we were just hanging out at Morgan's house and Dylan's house and stuff and Dylan went to the comp at, in Cabo so I was like crap what am I going to do and then Morgan's like oh well, Dane and Craig are doing a trip so like you can come if you want and I was like really? <laughs> so I did it and it's pretty much the same as the last trip I did it was pumping it's the best waves I've ever got Never been there before, and I mean, I've always seen photos of it and stuff, and just like tripped out on the place, and didn't really know that it was like that good until I got there. There's like ten points in a row. I thought there was only one, but I kept seeing in all these videos and shit. But it was like insane. The waves were crazy every every day, pretty much. You could go somewhere different, like a beach break or a little rock wall or a point, and it would be good. Yeah, I knew Craig kind of like half well but I've only met Dane a few times before that didn't really like chat to him that much but it's pretty sweet talking to those guys and like about stuff you know those like those kind of bigger airs like that are pretty pretty hard to stick like I've come close on a few that big and just every time I do them like I do something silly like fall off and go into layback or my board snaps, I don't know, I felt like I landed in a really good spot. I did one earlier in the session, not quite as big, but I landed like right on the flats and just got pancaked, but that one felt like I landed like on the lip, which is hard, but I mean, the board just gave out as soon as I landed. I wish I was riding my little board that I made, because it was a little smaller and it just was thicker and stuff and wouldn't snap. I just kept like snapping all my short boards, doing airs and shit, but I mean, with airs that big, you can't really think like oh I can I can land them they're kind of just luck like skill getting up there but then luck landing them because you don't know where you're landing and shit so yeah well I guess people think that it's been like high like I'm getting hyped up or something I don't know because it doesn't feel any different it just feels like I'm doing way more trips than I ever have before and like working with people that I've always wanted to work with and stuff I guess it's a little bit stressful because then you want to do your best work and like it's kind of hard you, you probably do your best work when you got no pressure on you but they don't really put pressure on you but you just put it on yourself because you think like well this is a big trip big deal like i gotta fucking step my shit up you know oh my friend morgan masson called me up and said like he was going down to mexico with dylan and sterling spencer dylan perillo and i was like sweet i like those guys so pretty psyched on the trip but then I was thinking like shit, Mexico is pretty far away and pretty expensive, like I wonder if this is going to be worth it and I checked out the swell and stuff, which I really have no freaking idea about, but I trusted him and I knew Craig kind of like half well, but I've only met Dane a few times before that, didn't really like chat to him that much, but it's pretty sweet talking to those guys and like about stuff, you know. Those like those kind of bigger airs like that are pretty pretty hard to stick. Like I've come close on a few that big, and just every time I do them, like I do something silly, like fall off and go into layback, or my board snaps. I don't know. I felt like I landed in a really good spot. I did one earlier in the session, not quite as big, but I landed like right on the flats and just got pancaked. But that one felt like I landed like on the lip, which is hard. But I and mean, the board just gave out as soon as I landed. I wish I was riding my little board that I made because it was a little smaller and it just was thicker and stuff and wouldn't snap. I just kept like snapping all my short boards doing airs and shit but I mean with airs that big you can't really think like oh I can I guess it paid off because I went down and it was like firing and we surfed for like a week straight and then when we come back we were just hanging out at Morgan's house and Dylan's house and stuff and Dylan went to the comp at, in Cabo so I was like Crap, what am I gonna do? And then Morgan's like, Oh, well, Dane and Craig are doing a trip, so like you can come if you want. And I was like, Really? <laughs> so I did it, and it's 
pretty much the same as the last trip I did. It was pumping. It's the best waves I've ever got. Never been there before, and I mean, I've always seen photos of it and stuff, and just like tripped out on the place and didn't really know that it was like that good until I got there. There's like 10 points in a row. I thought there was only one that I kept seeing in all these videos and shit, but it was like insane. The waves were crazy every every day pretty much. You could go somewhere different like a beach break or a little rock wall or a point and it would be good. Yeah. I